इन सुमो स्टूडियोज In this video I'm going to be showing how I start a project when I'm importing a DAS character. We're going to be adding the hair that we fixed and I wanted to do this because of all the little settings and things that need to be done before um, you can add the hair. It's a fairly straightforward process. I'm going to go through the entire process of animating our character, adding the hair, and doing the physics of the hair. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is create a new project. So I'm going to create a 4.26 project and I'm going to hit launch. Once the option comes up to select a template, I'm going to hit games, next, third person, and this is going to bring up the third person uh, template that's going to have the mannequin and all the animations and a little bit of a set that we can run around in. This is ideal because we can replace the mannequin with our character, add the hair, and then test the physics of that hair to make sure it's the way uh, it moves the way we want. So simply select next after selecting the third person. S make sure that you, we want a blueprint project, maximum quality, we do not need the ray tracing, and desktop console and starter content. Give your project a name. I'm going to call mine Daz Hair Fix, and then hit Create Project. Once that is done, you'll see a project that looks like this. And right away, you can just simply hit play, and you can run around with your character. In order to import a Daz character and, and also a groom asset, you'll need to install some plugins. And every time you create a new project, you'll need to go through this step. So let's go to Edit, Plugins. First, we'll type in Daz, and we'll see this Daz to Unreal. We, we need to make sure that's enabled. Then, we want to type in Groom and make sure these are enabled, both the importer and the groom itself. Just enable those and hit OK. If, this, if they were not enabled, it's going to prompt you to restart your project. That's fine. Just say yes, and it will, it will come right back to this screen. We're now ready to import our character from Daz using the Daz to Unreal tool. Now, simply uh, go back to Daz. I already have mine open with my character with the hair removed. And I'm going to hit File, Send to, Daz to Unreal. Give it a, a name and hit Accept. That will then export the character and hand it off to Unreal. And you'll see the import process happen here. And I've already done that, so I can see my Daz to Unreal folder. I see my Unreal. I open up my character. There she is. I select the head and I hit F for focus. And I can hold down the Alt key and the left mouse button. And you can see character looks great, just needs some hair. But before we do that, we want to be able to run around with this character. So we need to map the animations from our mannequin to our character and then replace the mannequin with our character so we can run around in our set. Let's do that. Go to our content folder. Go to mannequin, character, mesh, and open up the mannequin mesh. Select Skeleton, select the human, Humanoid Rig, accept these defaults, and just hit Save. We'll go back to Mannequin and go to Animations, and you'll see that you have all these animations, uh, jumping, running, etc., but you also have a blueprint. This is the one we want. Simply right-click, go to Retarget, Animation and Blueprints, Go to Duplicate and select this one here, this Genesis 8 base, the one that is located in our DAS to Unreal. 
and we want to give it a prefix. I'm calling my character Leah, and I'm going to hyphen. This would be a prefix of the name of the animation. And I'm also going to change the folder name and locate it within our DAS to Unreal. Uh, you know, we have the Unreal character. But there's also an animation folder. I want to put these animations because what it's going to do is copy and retarget the animations from the mannequin over to our character. So I'm going to select animation and I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to hit retarget. And as you can see, it put it in the animation folder, and now we have these animations of our character. And you can see our character's breathing there and standing in an idle position. So she looks great. So now that that's done, we can go back to content, go to our third person blueprint, go into blueprint, open up our third person, and go to viewport. And there is our blueprint of our mannequin that runs around. The first thing we want to do is go to the mesh. And right here where it says skeletal mesh, if we type in the name of our character, which hap mine happened to be Leah, so Unreal Leah, there she is. She's not animated yet. But if you look up here under animation and look at the animation class, I renamed mine to Leah, so I see now Leah with a hyphen, and I see this third-person animation blueprint, so I select that, and now she's animated. So I can close this, make sure I compile, and I save, and I go back to the game, and there she is, and now I hit play, and now my character can run around, jump, all this cool stuff. So what's left? Let's get the hair added. So let's navigate back to our DAS to Unreal, go into our Unreal character, and we're going to import the hair. To do that, we just say add, import, and then go to navigate to wherever our hair is and hit open. That will import the hair, and as you know, we need to set the X in the rotation to 90, and the Y in the scale to negative 1, and hit import. Now we have a hair. Here's what it looks like. It looks great. For now, let's just turn on our physics. And save that, hit close, and then navigate back to our blueprint. And this is where we're going to switch it to viewport, and this is where we're going to add the hair. Simply go to add component, type in groom, because that's what our hair is now. It, instead of it being that that model of non-physics hair, it's actually groom hair now. That's what we converted it to inside of Blender. So I can just call this hair or leave it as groom, whatever you want. Um, let's drag that under our mesh right here. Now all we have to do is go into our groom asset right here and find our hair. There it is. And up here in the sockets, type in head, and there's our head socket. So now our hair is connected, but it's way over here, it's messed up. You can mess with the import if you want, but you can also fix it right here. One. Zero, there we go. Okay, then I hit F to focus. On that hair. We can take a look here. You can see it's moving with the character because we have it attached to our head socket. This is looking really good. So I think I fine-tune mine a little bit. Um, let me look here a little closer. It may be okay, but you may need to fiddle around with 
uh, you know, check the, make sure none of the hair is crossing into the, into the skin. Um, you can look at the ear here and see if it really is where it should be. Looks a little off. Let me see what I can do here. I think that's pretty good actually. You can check the top of the head, make sure it's usually about 159 for, for this hair. I think that's pretty good actually. So let's compile and save that. Let's see what we have. So let's you can see it's in our character now. Let's hit play. Okay, there it is. You can see it's a little wild, but the hair is attached and it is moving with the body. You're like, but who wants hair like that, right? So let's fix that. We'll go into the physics of the hair, which we can just simply hit escape to get out of the game. Go to the third person character. Go back to the viewport here. And I'm just going to zoom back in. The way to do this, simply select the hair. And you can see here your hair groom asset. Just double click that. And that gets us into the hair. And the first thing I do is I change this to rods. Look at the external forces. These defaults are good. You can play with these depending on your hair. You may want to adjust some of these. But material constraints, by the way, I'm on the physics tab. These two here seem to be the most important that I set up. The stretch constraint and the bend constraint. You can see here this looks great, but what I find is if I open up the stiffness scale and I go to the um, default size scale by distance, it has a range of 128 to 30, about 3100, and do the exact same thing for the stretch or the stiffness scale under the stretch, select the exact same one. Okay, let's save that. And let's go back to our game and see what that did as far as, okay, it's definitely a lot better. Okay, but we're still not quite there yet. So let's go back. Go back into our third person blueprint and actually go to hair. And in here, if you change the sub steps and the iteration count to either six or seven, we'll try six first. Let's save that. Reduce this so we can get back to our game. Hit play. Okay, getting better. That actually looks pretty good. Okay, running around, running sideways, see how long the hair gets from the stretch. It's actually pretty good. And one of the things you can do to help check, uh, to make sure that you can see the hair a little closer, a little better, what you can do is you go into, into the third person and you see this camera just select it and bring it closer. Maybe bring it up a little bit. Do a compile and save. Let's reduce this screen. Hit play again. Now we got a little better view of our character's hair. Let's look up a little bit. I need to angle that camera up a little bit more. But that looks pretty good. Let me hit escape. Go back to here. And let me probably need to rotate this camera just a little bit upward. Yeah, something like that maybe. Let's hit compile and save. Go back to hair. Whoops. Reduce it. Then hit play. Now let's see if yeah, we can see the jump now. So,
Okay. That hair actually looks pretty good. You can tighten that up if it's a little too loose. We can go back to hair and change this to seven to slow things down a little bit more. Again, save it, reduce that, hit play. Let's see what we got now. Okay. I think that that front hair there a little bit is passing through the skin. The rest of it looks pretty good. I think the physics looks good. We're in good shape there. But what we can do here, we go back to our third person character, select the hair. Again, hit F to focus so we can see a little better. Alt, left mouse. See how that hair kind of crosses through the skin a little bit? If we slide it forward, slide the hair a little bit forward, maybe a 1.2. Let's go look at this. Maybe a little more. One point five. There we go. See how it's not crossing through the skin now? Maybe, maybe a little bit more. Okay. So I was talking about right here. You can see it looks really good now. Hold down the alt, rotating around. Here looks good. That hair looks really good. So I'm going to hit compile and save. Reduce this. Hit play. Run around with my character. Oops. Maybe do a little jump. Get away from these stairs a little bit. And there you have it.